Alright guys, I'm about to show you the best way to get a sensitivity that your brain can adapt to as easily as possible and that's perfectly customized for you. Let's get started. What's up guys, Preserver Games here. Today we're going to be making use of the PSA calculator. This is known as the Perfect Sensitivity Approximation Calculator. This is a mathematical average system that will figure out the perfect sensitivity for your brain to adapt to and get situated and feel comfortable with your new sensitivity. This will be the best sensitivity method that you're going to find for any game. Not just due process, let's get right into it. Alright, so what you're going to do is walk over to a wall such as this. And you're going to fire a shot directly in front of you. So like one right there, one right here, and one right here. Okay? And this is your approximation. So the reason why we have to do three dots is because due process doesn't allow exact numbers. They only allow decimals rounded off to two decimal places. Say that you want to do a full 360, which is what I'm about to show you. You will have to have like 0 0.6154, something like that. But being that due process rounds off the decimals, you cannot have an exact decimal place such as that. So you're going to have to do an approximation. So what you're going to do is after you fire the three shots, you're going to take your mouse and you're going to put it on one end of your mouse pad. When you do that, you're going to then try to do a full 360 and your mouse should line up with one of these three dots, depending on how your sensitivity is. Let's do a full 360. I way overshot. The point right so 0 0.91 or 92 is not the proper so let's try if we overshot it by half let's try doing a 0 0.61 0 0.61 again there we go all right now let's try it again okay we 360 one more time okay so it's about halfway there sounds pretty good to me or not halfway, but I mean, it's about appropriate. Try one more time just to make sure. It's going to take a few times for you to figure out what exactly you need to do with the sensitivity. Do you need to go higher or lower? Just keep trying it until you get down to the perfect 360 sensitivity with your mouse pad size. So keep going. All right, I overshot it a little, so let's try 0.61 again. So 0 0.61 is a good baseline. We're going to take the sensitivity of the aimed, right? We're going to plug it right into the starting sensitivity of this website. This website is going to be right there in the description of the video. If you can click on the video and go down to show more, you can see in the description the link to this website. Go to this link, plug in your starting sensitivity, depending on which one you want to do, whether it's unaimed, aimed, or scoped. And what you're going to do is so you see there's two baselines given to you, one of lower and one of higher. You're going to take the lower sensitivity and copy it over, and you're going to paste it into the game itself. Once that's done, you have your low base. You're going to aim from a far distance, probably about like right here at this tile, over to where the target is. Try and strafe back and forth and get closer and closer to the target and try and stay in the center mass right there just to see if you can keep on track. So as you get closer, what will happen is your mouse is going to swap from a fingertip grip to a wrist grip to an arm grip. And when this does that, you're going to see which sensitivity you're more comfortable with. So keep trying to get closer and closer, right? And keep going closer. And keep trying to stay on the target. Once you're as close as you can be, back up and do the opposite. Keep backing up all the way to the point where we stopped. Or we started, excuse me. Okay, once you arrive back at the spot, what I want you to do is just keep doing it. Keep going back and forth, seeing if you're comfortable with the low sensitivity. After which, go back to the website and plug in your higher sensitivity. So, take the 0 0.92 and paste it right in. When that's done, you're going to try it again. Same spot right here. And you're just going to strafe back and forth and get progressively closer and closer and further and further. So keep trying to stay on the target. I'm going to get ammo because this reload thing is really bothering me. 
Okay, there we go. So keep trying to stay closer to the target. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to enjoy the lower sensitivity way better than the higher one. I can barely keep track of it and I'm overcompensating for every aim that I do with the higher sensitivity. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come back to the beginning and I'm going to click on iteration one right here and I'm going to hit the lower button right there. So you can't see because the camera, let me move the camera over. Okay. I'm going to hit the lower button right here. And when that's done, it's going to give me another iteration, another low sensitivity, another high sensitivity, and the ability to click lower or higher. So you're going to continue doing this all the way until you get to a point that's going to provide you only one sensitivity. And that sensitivity will be the one that your brain is naturally most comfortable to and that you can adjust to as quick as possible and what is best for you. Don't try to speed run this. It's going to take 15 or 20 minutes for you to get through this, but I promise you it is worth it. Let's try it. Another iteration, let's do lower, higher, lower, lower, higher, lower. And now we have a perfect sensitivity. You can see it right here. My perfect sensitivity for this iteration is 32. So I'm going to take that sense and I'm going to plug it right in. 0 0.32, 0 0.32. Okay, so obviously this isn't going to fit me because I just randomly clicked iteration, iteration, iteration. Just go to the lower and the higher over and over again and see what you're comfortable with. And when you figure that out, plug it right in. Click lower or higher and then find your perfect sensitivity. When that's done, your brain is going to have a much easier time adapting to the sensitivity. It's going to be easier for you to get headshots. And I'll even tell you what, let's go to another website real quick. All right, so we have mouse sensitivity right here. This is a great website. If we go to calculator, you can have like a convert from, and we can do like, let's say, I don't know, uh, do process, sure. Okay, and you're just gonna plug in basically which one you want. If you want aimed X, then you're going to put that in. You're going to put your FOV and go ahead and try aim lab, right? So for the second one, we're going to place an aim lab right here. And when we plug in 0 0.42, you're going to see a sensitivity, an ADS sensitivity and the ADS field of view, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in all of these settings directly to aim lab. And from there, you're just going to go on aim lab. Now, AimLab is completely free. You can find it on Steam. Just go look up AimLab. You'll find it right there. It's completely free. You can download it and it'll give you training. So you go over here to your sensitivity and you can see your ADS distance, your ADS sensitivity, and your ADS field of view. So you're just going to plug in directly what you see here into these settings on AimLab. Okay. And when that's done, your set, your sensitivity for due process will be exactly synced to aim lab. So if you want to practice like your aim for due process and you don't, you don't want to wait in queue or wait two minutes to try out on real targets, you can always do supplementary training with aim lab. They have so many tasks. They have spider shot. They have line traces, micro shots for flicks. If you want to do like multi shots, like practicing multiple targets on flicks, you could do this. There's also good ways to practice your strafe aiming. There's good ways to do grid shots. These are for like um, basically killing multiple targets at one point. What I like to do is the multi-line trace. I like to do the motion shot right here so that when you shoot the target, it spawns another target and you just got to kill it, right? Microflex is another good one. If you want to practice using the mop or the saber, then sniper shot is really good. And just take the time out of your day to go and do this method for each of your sensitivities. Do it for unaimed, do it for aimed, do it for scoped, right? And when that's done, you'll have a way more comfortable time aiming at your perfect places that you need to be and getting those flicks and those kills that are necessary. Take time to train and make sure that you have the ability to go into aim lab, link up your sensitivity like that using mousesensitivity.com and or whatever you want to use and basically just train just practice man just get those headshots and then after you're done practicing in aim lab come into the game and practice on these people right here you know just make sure that everything is situated i'm going to change it back to my normal sense and what i would recommend for you too another thing is just make sure that you try this multiple times go to the website this one right here 
And after a few days, try it again. After a few days, try it again. Because you will come out with an average that might be a little bit different depending on how well you're hydrated, how much sleep you get, how well you're feeling in the day. It always changes. Now, I'm not saying change it every single day, but you'll begin to see like what common numbers are best for you and what it really wants you to go for. I would recommend before trying this out, just make sure you're completely hydrated. Even 2% dehydration really makes a difference in your aim and completely try it over and over and over again. Try it again and again until you feel comfortable with it. Once again, we're going to recap. What you're going to do is go to the website right here known as the PSA calculator. This is going to be in the description. And basically, you're going to take your baseline sensitivity and the, how you get that baseline sensitivity is you're going to shoot marks on the wall right here. All right, and you're just going to do a full 360, right? And obviously, I'm not going to reach it because I changed mine. Mine is 0 0.61. And when you do that 360, you're going to have a good baseline to work with. So you're going to plug that baseline directly into your starting sensitivity right here. And depending on what you get for your lower and higher, ignore the base, what you get for the lower or higher, plug that into your game and just practice strafing back and forth and staying on target from a far distance and then just get slowly closer and closer and closer and keep trying to stay on target, right? And then come back out. All right, and try that for both the lower and the higher sensitivity. And then you're going to select right here, basically which one you like more, and it'll come out with a perfect sense. You then can move that perfect sense over to aimlab, or sorry, mousesensitivity.com, and be able to plug this right in from due process to aimlab, and just practice your game. Now, the best practice, of course, is in-game. If you ever have time to play, come up on, play a few rounds. Don't stress yourself. Go through a few casual games and just try and get headshots. That'll make you improve a lot better. Don't take a shot unless you get a headshot. That's a great way to improve. And just keep it up, man. Keep practicing. Keep grinding it. And eventually, you'll be able to get really good. So just keep it up. Keep trying that software. And like I said, try it throughout multiple days just to make sure that it keeps matching up with what it says is your perfect sense and what you feel comfortable with. And then go with it, right? All right. So last few things. Uh, I stream on Twitch. If you do want to follow me on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Preserva Games, just like my YouTube channel. I need to update my banner before it was Mr. Preserva. I changed it over to Preserva Games. If you like the content and this has helped you out, you could help me out by leaving a like and subscribing. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a comment below or follow me on Twitch, whichever one you want. And I'll be live usually every week. And you can just pop by and let me know that you have questions and I can answer them for you. Or if you want to hop in a few games with me, we can do that too. And your like and your subscriptions really keep this content going. I look forward to making more due process videos. This is definitely going to be my main game for a while. And if you have any ideas, whether, whether you want me to cover or not, you can just leave a comment below and let me know any of your ideas you would like me to cover. I can make you a video just answering your questions. The next video will be going over the defender weapons and their damage models and also the attacker weapons, which will be a separate window because I want to show exactly what each one does, how it works, and the damage models behind where you hit on the limb. So just stick around for that. Once again, like and subscribe if you like it, and I hope to see you later on. Bye.